Hi, my name is William. Today I'm working on my Thunderbolt 1003 mini 3D printed project. So far, I've, I have a few test prints that I have done. Here are a couple of them. This has taken me a while. Me and my dad do this together. I want I want to show you guys a pretty quick test of what of what we have made so far. Chopper is approximately. Let's see, see the chopper. Uh, this chopper is approximately 81 millimeters round and 50 millimeters tall. So the chopper is five to six ports, six on the top, five on the bottom. I have a replicated chopper housing right here. The, the the motor on this is a 12 volt RC motor with a propeller nut on it right there I have it hooked it up I have it hooked up to this 18 volt battery and I'm using a voltage step down regulator right here and I have ordered this mini mini but strong 5 rpm motor that I'm going to use to make the siren rotate. It's going to rotate like this. And we have the mini collector rig wire harness that I'm going to use in between the chopper housing. And is it rotating? It rotates so it doesn't like, do that to the wires. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to use this in between the chopper housing and box. It has six wires, so that should be enough for what I need it for. Today, I'm going to be printing a modified chopper housing. Here's what it looks like on the MacBook. I'm using Kira Slice and Tinkercad to mod everything. And here is my totally custom Ender 3 Pro XL. It's approximately 400 millimeters by 400 by 500 millimeters tall um it has custom braces and all kinds of cool mods so that i can build big things uh, i need you to watch and subscribe uh, to all my videos so that i can bring new cool projects like this mini thunderbolt and once I perfect this Thunderbolt, I will be sharing the STLs online. I want to build all kinds of sirens. Okay, let's get to printing. Bye.